Hey guys, so 2019 is coming to an end, believe it or not. Time flies so fast. So for today's video, I'll be showing you my favorites for 2019. It's not just beauty, but it's like random things and also songs and TV shows. So let's get started. Okay, so I think I'll start with beauty first. So my new favorite this year is this it Cosmetics Foundation. Okay, it's a CC cream. So I use it as a foundation. And I think it's one of my favorite foundation that I've tried so far. It's color correcting, full coverage, and also it's not sticky. So it feels really comfortable to use this. I don't know what shade am I using, but... So it's this. And there's also, it also has SPF, which is good for your skin, especially here in Malaysia where it gets really hot. And oh, so I went to Seoul earlier this year, so I got a few K Beauty stuff, which I really like. So my favorite is this eye palette from Clio. I, I believe they sell it here as well in Malaysia because I've seen it before. I think I saw it at Sasa. So this year I'm really liking those pink peach colors. So I really like this and it's also very pigmented. And also it comes in like a really small brush though I hardly use it but it, it is useful. And a mirror right there. Ooh, you can see the camera. So I'll take this color so it's very pigmented and it's also a really nice color. And my next favorite Korean beauty product is Vanilla and Co. I really like their lipsticks. So this is oh Woo Woman. That's the shade and the code is MPK07. I'm using this on my lips right now. It's a very bright corally red, I believe. It's this color with it's like a dark red with like some hint of orange, I guess. And the next one is also Vanilla and by Vanilla. It is a liquid lipstick in the shade Brick Chili. I really like it. I like the texture as well. It's a darker red than the previous one. So that is that. So those are my main favorites under beauty for 2019. I guess next I will move on to... My next favorite is this Maddie Hill face mask. I also found out about this brand when I was in Seoul and I think this is my favorite face mask that I've tried so far like compared to other brands as well I've tried like a lot of brands I bought a few in Seoul but it's all finished so I bought these from I believe Sasa yep they sell it there but the options are quite limited but I really do like this tea tree care solution so I'm quite happy that they have this here in KL it's non-sticky and you don't even have to wash your face after that I personally find most face masks quite sticky and even though you're not supposed to wash your face after using a face mask but I just feel like I have to wash it because it's just too much on my face but with this it's very light and you can just use it and not wash it off and I find it very effective actually. Also because it has tea tree, which is good if you have acne, I think. I'm not a skin specialist so I don't really know but it works on my skin. Next would be another face mask which is this, which is from Fresh. I love this so much because it's not time consuming. 
You can just use it after you wash your face for 10 minutes and then you can just wash it off. You just have to use it around 2 to 3 times per week. And it's supposed to make your face more vibrant and glowy. I just like the feeling on my skin after I use this. So there's also an another mask that I like to use. I use this in the morning after I wash my face and shower obviously. So this mask is a daily mask and you only have to put it on for like 60 seconds. Yeah. There, just 60 seconds and you're done. So now we'll be moving on to my favorite shampoo for the year 2019, which is Olaplex. So these are my two favorite shampoo and conditioner. It is number four and number five. I only get this when there's a sale at Sephora because it's quite pricey but it helps with my hair. My hair is very dry and this thing, this thing smoothens it out. It's supposed to repair, strengthen, hydrate all hair types. So if you have bleached your hair, do any chemical procedures on your hair. So this shampoo is really good. And this is my second bottle. I haven't used this but I really love the shampoo. Next would be my new favorite perfume for this year which is by Ariana Grande. I have no idea what it's called but it's just the one in this thing. It's really cute and it smells very sweet. I like sweet smelling perfume or fruity smelling perfume. So I like it. And I think it's, an, it's a good alternative if you like um, Victor and Rolf Bonbon because that one is quite pricey so this one is a cheaper version of that. So uh, moving on, I'll show you my favorite technology stuff for this year. So first on the list is of course my MacBook Air which I got this year. It's the 13 inch. It's very light and it's very convenient to carry around everywhere. So next, I keep looking at the viewfinder, I'm sorry. So next is my wireless earphone. I got the brand Studio. I got this from Seoul as well. It is really convenient. You just have to connect it to your phone Bluetooth. And yeah, so this is how it looks like. And it's also very comfortable because they come with like a lot of the earbud sizes. So you can pick which size you want. So you just put it on. I guess next would be my Philips Ionic Hairbrush. I did a review on this a few weeks ago, so you can just check that video out. And it is it has become one of my favorite brush because I think it really helps with my hair. So you just brush it out. So I guess last, oh wait, one more, um, under technology would be my ring light. So I got this from like a random, um, I guess you could say phone store somewhere at um, Sunway. So it's affordable and it's also good when I want to film, if I want to film videos at night. Because I don't really need a big one because I'm just starting out. So it's like this. It's quite long, so you can adjust it like however low or however you want the lights to be. And it's USB powered, so you just have to connect it to a power bank or or anywhere which has USB. Now we move on to Luxuries, my favorite product, which I 
always have to save money for because it's so expensive. So first, I guess we'll start with my Gentle Monster sunglasses, which is my favorite sunglasses. I'm quite a big fan of using sunglasses. And I was so happy when I found Gentle Monster. Also, I got this in Korea again. It's a Korean brand, so it's a lot cheaper if you get it there. It's just like this. It's a big black sunglasses. Um, I found out about this brand from Jenny from Blackpink. Next would be handbags, of course. I got this Gucci bag earlier this year, I think. And apparently when I bought it, the um, sales lady told me that they are discontinuing this bag. So I was quite happy that I got that. I got this before they discontinued it. It's really convenient. It has a strap and the size is quite, it's not too big, it's not too small. So you can fit your phone, your camera, your wallet and everything you need. So it's very convenient if you want to use it for traveling. I'll show you the inside. This is how it looks like inside. It's very spacious and it has two pockets here for you to keep your card. My next favorite bag for the year 2019 is my LV Pochette Metis. Uh, I got this pre-loved actually, but it's still in a good condition. And I really love this bag, especially for traveling. So I'll switch between my Pochat Matisse and my Gucci, I think it's Gucci Disco bag, I'm not sure. Uh, but honestly, this one is more spacious. It has more compartment, so it's easier to organize. And also you can adjust the sling. So however short or long you want it, you can adjust it. Okay, so now moving on to non. What do you call it? Moving on from like non physical items, I would like to talk about my favorite TV shows for this year. So, for TV shows, I really enjoy watching. Let me Google. I'm not sure if it's 2019 or 2018. Oh, it's 2018, but I think I watch it this year, so I'll just say it. I really like You on Netflix, where it's about the guy who is a stalker and all. And they're coming out with season two in, I think, next. When are they coming out with season two? I think it's in a few weeks. Oh, they're releasing season two on 26 December, which is. Tomorrow, I'm filming this on Christmas Day. So, okay, I'm looking forward to watch you on Netflix. And other than that, I've been watching a lot of K dramas. So, for this year's K drama, I really like uh, Touch Your Heart and also Her Private Life. I think it's 2019. Let me check. Yeah, so my three top shows for 2019 are you, her private life, and touch your heart. Yeah, so moving on to my favorite songs for this year. I, it's hard for me to like list down a favorite song because I like sort of discovered a lot of new singers and bands this year. So I would just say the artist, I guess. So, my favorite artists for this year are Love, Lani, 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 and Khalid. Those are like Hollywood favorite artists. And I also recently started listening to K-pop. So I really like Blackpink and um, BTS. Yeah, I guess that's it. Those are my favorites for this year. If you guys are new to my channel, 
please subscribe and I don't know let me know what are your favorite things for this year so thank you I'll probably see you guys with a new video next year in 2020 bye